So at the present time we are really at a key, probably another key juncture in um, the MPN field in, in um, many ways the discovery of the JAK2 mutation was symbolic because Janus is the Roman god of the gateway, the door between what is now and the subliminal kind of transition into the future. So the discovery of the JAK2 mutation led to an explosion of new therapies and new options for patients which are very impactful. But right now, following um, on from the work that colleagues in Australia and Denmark have done and the beautiful plenary discussion at ASH, with the generation of a mutant Kalar antibody, which appears to be very effective in vitro and in a mouse model, we are, I think, at the dawn of a newer therapeutic landscape for patients with MPN. Maybe thinking about treating Kalar mutated patients in a totally different way to the way that we would treat JAK2 mutated patients. And aside from the insight monoclonal antibody, there are currently studies with vaccination strategies, actually importantly both against JAK2 and Kalar, combining with immune checkpoint inhibition. And probably shortly there will also be other strategies, for example with bispecific antibodies and CAR T directed therapy. So I would um, encourage colleagues if they've got a difficult patient who's got Kalar mutation and a tricky disease to think about the availability of these kind of studies because they're quite likely hopefully to be effective but for JAK2 mutated disease I think the data from uh, with interferon and from the magic PV study suggesting that if we can target JAK2 with ruxolitinib or, and or a different JAK inhibitor and interferon that might be a very effective strategy.